Hi everyone, this is Donnie Lowy from CloseThatExplosion.com. Today I'd like to discuss with you how you can maximize your dress sales in your store. So now, selling dresses is an art, right? Selling anything is an art and it takes experience, it takes information, and it takes practice. So I'm going to give you some tips and some ideas that you can use to maximize your dress sales. So the first thing you want to do when a customer comes into your store you want to be prepared to make the sale. Now, what do I mean by prepared? You want to have a plan of action. You want to have an idea which dresses you're going to show your customers. You want to know what specials you have available. You want to know what dresses are currently popular in the market so you know which dresses you should be showing to your customers. For example, let's say you get a new shipment of dresses and you look at your shipment and that's the thing. You need to make sure to look at your shipment before the customer arrives, not be in a situation where you're opening up the dresses, you're putting them on the rack and the customer comes and you don't exactly know what you have because you're not going to be able to make the best possible suggestion. So the first thing is you want to really know your merchandise. You want to know also what's popular in the market. Are people looking for short dresses, for long dresses? And you also have to be very familiar with your customers so that then when they come to your warehouse or to your store, you're going to know which dresses to suggest to them. If you suggest an appropriate dress, the customer is going to feel confidence in doing business with you because you're going to know that your advice is solid because you're making them a suggestion which is appropriate for them. Customers want to deal with people who understand their needs and can make appropriate suggestions for them. Now, once a customer is in your store or your warehouse, there's something very important that you want to do, and you want to establish a rapport with the customer. So you introduce yourself, you're friendly, but then the next thing is you want to give them their space because all of us enjoy working at a different pace, right? I might like to go to a store, let's say to buy food and be in and out in two minutes, but I might like to go to a bookstore and take my time browsing through the books, or I might like going to a suit store when I need to buy a men's suit, and there I'd like the salesperson to be able to give me a suggestion. I can make my decision quickly, have the suit, and be on my way. So the only way you could gauge what kind of customer you're dealing with is by first, establishing rapport with the customer, introducing yourself, saying hello, and then letting them know if they have any questions they should approach you. Then give them their space. You know, don't right away ask them too many questions. Then give the customer an opportunity to look around. Once the customer is looking at the different dresses that you have, you're going to be able to see which dresses they're looking for and which dresses are catching their attention. Then you approach the customer for a second time and you ask them if there's something that could help you and ask them if it would be all right if you can show them the different dresses that they have available. This way, the customer already had a chance to you know, feel at ease in your store. They had a chance to see the kind of merchandise you have and then they can ask you what kind of merchandise they're looking for. Now, in order to maximize your sales, once you know what kind of dresses you're looking for and now once the customer wants your help and is okay with you helping them now you want to guide them through the buying process you guide them through the buying process by showing them dresses that fit the budget that they're looking for that are appropriate based on the style dresses by the brands that they're interested in and this is true whether you're selling wholesale or retail right the more information you have from the customer the more better of a transaction you're going to be able to guide them through. Now, once you know what kind of dresses that they want, now you can confidently and sincerely show them the dresses that are going to be appropriate for them, and then you can actually start selling. And what do I mean by selling? Selling is a matter of suggestions based on factual information. So if you know your customers are looking for petite dresses that can be worn at a party, then you're, that's what you're going to suggest to them. But if they're looking for more conservative colors and maybe a plus size dress that's going to be very conservative but at the same time very fashionable for a corporate environment, then those are the dresses that you're going to show to your customer. But remember, you're only going to be able to do this based on your rapport, based on the information that you have, and also based on the trust level that you've established between yourself and your customers. And also another thing to maximize your sales, your store has to look very professional. It has to be really nice. It's not enough just to have beautiful merchandise. You also have to have a really nice store or a nice warehouse. And you have to have an environment that makes your customer feel safe 
and that they feel comfortable enough to spend a lot of time there. You know, it's always nice to to be nice, right? It's always nice to offer your customers a drink, something to eat, right? The more comfortable they are, and it has to be sincere, right? We're not just trying to make a sale. Sometimes, you know, we want a customer to feel comfortable and have a good experience just so that then when they come back next time, they'll be happy to buy by you, right? And they'll think about your business for the next time. So a customer might be walking by your dress boutique. The customer might walk in, say, wow, these are beautiful dresses. And they might tell you up front, I'm not looking to buy anything. I just walked by because I'm curious. And that's okay because if you establish a good relationship with them and show the customer the merchandise you have, still go through the sales process without having to put pressure, without having them feel that they have to buy, then they'll walk out of your dress boutique, they'll feel happy, and they could come back later on to buy by you. And also they could tell their friends and relatives to buy dresses by you. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. My website is closeatexplosion.com. I have a warehouse in Brooklyn, and you are welcome to visit the next time you are here.